I have a few questions for my uh, colleagues. What if our foreign policy of the past century is deeply flawed and has not served our national security interests? What if we wake up one day and realize that the terrorist threat is a predictable consequence of our meddling in the affairs of others and has nothing to do with us being free and prosperous? It's been four years since the last morning. Just seconds left. It's almost came over. We can't press reset. The revolution got stronger as the pressure did on back with a new message that we never left. Blood and sweat for everything, anything that we never get. No loss of liberty. Spot the enemy get the leverage. Dead and dead in the sea. Repetitive negligence. They deny the viable and the relevant. Been evidence after decades of decadence Now there's less than effectiveness It gets harder to follow Time for setting the precedence For a weapon of force Not to be reckoned with check it is wrong ball First round Crap don't know what the second is I got nothing to compare it to As big as his messages Dr. Paul is the doctor That Ron fixes the pessimist Make a negative positive hero. So it's time we elected him Cause to save the economy He's got my vote for president What if Ron Paul was president? He'd eliminate the deficit The freedom we The generation estimate What's so interesting about uh, accomplishing Ron Paul is you appear to have consistent uh, principles and integrity. Uh, Americans don't usually go for that. Ron Paul's the only one I'd ever elect president Cause I don't believe in BS and the people selling it We shouldn't be working for peanuts cause we ain't elephants I do what I do to produce and create intelligence I'm honest and I work so hard But the only thing I own is my guitar and a free car Now the prices are rising and they garnish my wages And the taxes are hiking and the dollars inflating This is an outrage and I'll shout it on stage I'm sick and town raised. we need a positive change I can't even proudly say that I'm an American nowadays Without first stating that I don't support what we portray it's gotten too far out of hand The bigger the government is, the smaller the man There's only one candidate that really understands Vote for Dr. Ron Paul for president if you can You voted against the Patriot Act I did You voted You voted against the Iraq War Yeah Well, I'm thinking is that Ron Paul guy Beth is sitting next to me, and I didn't say anything, and then all of a sudden I went, uh, you know, I think I agree with everything that dude just said. Everybody would benefit. Ron Paul, Ron Paul, 2012, sell money, sell markets, let freedom prevail. Say you've been living in misery, but go ahead and get well. Got the medicine, the apathy, and it's not in a pill. Don't get filled up with hype like the last election spills. Changes more than just a teleprompter and oratory skills. Take a look, read a book, open your eyes, listen to history, and act. For once in your life, all I hear is economy this, economy that. Folks with the blind is on, afraid to look at the facts. Saying Obama just needs time, watch you get us back on track. How? He's done the same thing as every at the last. Demagogue, that's still the shoes before. Most folks get fooled by PR galore. A glutton for utopia, knocking on heaven's door. Praying for an answer when it's knocking at yours. Government, more taxes, more bureaucracy, more regulations, more police in the world. What are you guys talking about? You know? I look at the Republican field, I see, you know, Palin, Bachman, Pawlenty, uh, Mitt Romney. There's no way any of them are better than you for the Republican nomination. Let's just be a bit serious. What if the American people woke up and understood that the official reasons for going to war are almost always based on lies and promoted by war propaganda in order to serve the special interests? What if it is finally realized that war and military spending is always destructive to the economy? What if all wartime spending is paid for through the deceitful and evil process of inflating and borrowing? What if we finally see that wartime conditions always undermine their personal liberty? Personal liberty. Personal liberty.